My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. Hello again, party people, and welcome back to my worldwide award-winning channel. This woman and her son attended Trump's Butler rally, and they have done several media interviews. However, they don't even know where they sat while at the rally. They originally thought Corey was killed in their grandstand along with a woman. Well, I can tell you this. I heard her saying they weren't sure Corey. We were right in front of Corey. He was in the third row. We were in the eighth. No, we were in the third. We were in the third row. Third row. He was in the eighth row. So we were in front of him. If you're looking at the stage, we were over to the right grandstand. Section. We, and, uh, we were the section that everybody sees on TV that everybody's still sitting there and looking. Our section was down. Other than people helping, just you know, Corey and the, and the, and the woman's yeah, got. We had two people down our section, so everybody. The woman claims there was bleacher located beside the right grandstand, and she claims this is where they sat. She says the seating was removed before various photos were taken. I think is maybe one of the biggest deals that hasn't been addressed in that you personally witnessed people beyond Corey Comparatore, David Dutch, James Copenhaver, and Donald Trump being shot. You've seen additional victims there at the rally, is that right? What's correct. So here's here's what happened. You have three shots. You had us heading down to hit the ground. As we're hitting the ground, obviously there's a lot going on, but the people above us in the bleachers were yelling for medics and for help because there was people shot. So those people were shot in the first first or second shot because they were already yelling for medics before other shots went off. So we now have a man and a woman down in our section. They're in the, I don't know, what do you think? There's 12 rows, maybe in the 10th row ish. Yeah, towards the top. Definitely. Towards the Nothing top. Nothing ever. For about sure. This woman. We don't know if she lawyered up or what, but. Well, now, just to clarify, you're talking about two different people. This person here was the man uh, who Joe just said was carried by one arm. The woman that you're talking about, I had seen a news broadcast, Donna, where you said you saw a woman with your own eyes who you perceived as having been shot in the hand or the arm. And that yeah, was consistent yeah. with evidence that John Cullen has found of a bullet going across the back row and shooting something like three people simultaneously, including a woman who appears to drop a cell phone or a drink or something. Tell us yeah, about she, that detail. She was carried out on a stretcher. I mean, that, that looked like a normal person getting carried. It just carried on a stretcher. She was put on the back of a golf cart and they, and out, just, yeah, gone. They just drove her to an ambulance. And, yeah. And the thing is, is if one bullet hit all them, again, those three pops, we still feel they came from behind us. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, definitely. But when they were showing you know, everybody shots, say, oh, the news or your senators were out here. I'm like, yeah, well, you didn't see our bleachers because you didn't, they're not there. And, and I'm, so it's just mind-boggling to me. I can't even fathom that they don't want to address these bleachers and what happened. And the, and, and you see the pictures there. where we but are. But yeah, and there this is where, again, nothing is being addressed. And they took those bleachers away. And I, anytime I'm on the news and they start talking about this, I just walk out of the room because they're, I don't need any more hot air blowing up my ass. This woman and her son sat in the right grandstand. And there was no bleacher seating to the right of the right grandstand, as she claims. I have no clue why they don't know where they were sitting. No bleachers were removed like this woman says. And no woman was shot in her grandstand. The two people who were shot and removed from the right grandstand were David Dutch and James Copenhaver. The person they saw being worked on, then carried off on a stretcher that was on top of the four-wheeler, was David Dutch. I've shot it briefly before, but here it is again. Red Hat Guy who saw Gimbal Guy fire shots was sitting right here. He sat four rows from the area where the Gimbal Guy fight happened. Red Hat Guy has video of the Gimbal Guy fight that we need to see, party people.
This woman did a media interview, and this is where she was sitting when the shots were fired. This tall guy in the black shirt and long hair did a media interview, and here is where he was standing. This guy did an interview and claims he's a doctor who helped carry Corey from the grandstand when he never did. This guy walked over to Corey and took his shirt off and was up to something shady before completely leaving the grandstand before everyone else did. This guy in the brick jacket did an interview, and here is where he was sitting, and the following is the footage he filmed. The president's been shot. Oh, no. No. Either that or they're covering We don't know. Either that or they're covering him. We love you. We love you, President Trump. We love you. We love you, President Trump. We love you! Yes! 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 We love you, President Trump! No! Oh, no, he's shot! He's shot! Oh, he did it! He's shot! It could just be his ear! He's shot! It could just be his ear! He's walking. He's walking. He did it. Dude, that's fucking wild. This guy did an interview, and not only does he claim to be the person that captured Crooks allegedly walking into the event, but he also says that he captured Crooks turn his head and point the rifle at the people filming him before the cop sniper fired the final kill shot. The gunman's face looking directly at them. And why oh, this is wow. significant there it is. Yeah. is because people are now saying, yeah, people are now saying, and the, the, the Butler DA here in town is saying, a local police officer sh that, that shot him, got his attention, caused him just enough time to turn left and that's when the Secret Service snipers ultimately took him out. So, pop This guy did an interview, and I still can't find this guy anywhere in the crowd at all. But I'll keep looking, and let you know if I find him. But I did find this though. Stop the steal. It's referring to the 2020 election being stolen from Trump. But I found it funny, because it was really close to this sign at the Trump rally. Thanks for watching my videos party people. I'm trying to grow this channel so please subscribe, tell a friend about it, like the video, and leave some comments, and you'll see me in my next worldwide award winning video.